what is up welcome back so today we're gonna do something a little bit kind of maybe interesting if you like it it'll be interesting uh i feel like i owe you guys a follow-up there was a question that was asked in a comment the other day and i totally realized from that comment i never even told you guys what happened after i installed the methanol injection kit so let's talk about that but before but, 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 but first let's talk about this car for a minute this is a car. It has an engine and wheels. It's just about ready to get fired up for the final time, but I, I put the starter on today, and when we did the first test fire of this thing, there was like that wicked, terrible noise that was happening. And I think it is actually the starter. Somebody commented and said it was the starter, and I believe it is the starter because the starter doesn't work now. So it, it started and it was like really struggling. If you guys remember that, it was like really, really struggling. I thought it was low battery, loose connection. I think the starter was just junk and that's what that squealing noise was. So starter, I tr hooked it up and like clicked it. It's just click, click, click. It doesn't do anything and uh, it's junk. I even I even took the, the crank when my son had the key forward today uh, he pushed the key forward like it was trying to start it and I spun the crank by hand and I, I could just feel the starter grinding So I'm gonna throw a new one of them on there. But let's talk about this wicked mammal So as you guys know, I did install the snow performance methanol injection kit and I was having really really high intake air temps So on this truck when I was doing a full pass full quarter mile pass I was seeing temps upwards of 195 to 200 degrees consistently it was a lot of times it was like 160 170 by the eighth mile so launching it would be almost ambient temperature and by the eighth mile it'd be like 160 170 end of the pass was 195 200 plus so let's talk about what happened after i installed the kit all right guys we're gonna kick it old school a little bit here and not do the screen capture today so you can see the temperature right here is at 194 and this is the end of the pass so if I use the look at the regular scan, so you can see this is the full quarter mile pass. And this is actually the first 11.3 pass on the truck. So 11.3 at 120. And intake air temp at the end is 195, 194 degrees. So that's kind of warm. So if we open up the other files. So this is the first 11.3 pass on June 22nd. And then I had a couple other 11 second passes. And here I have 11.3 with meth blue coolant line off. So I actually blew a coolant hose off because I forgot to put the little clamp on. Here we have 137 degree temp at the end of the pass, 138. However, my temp at the beginning of the pass was starting at 118. So there's 118 at the beginning. And here's 138 at the end. So overall, the temp only went up 20 degrees, which is pretty good. And if I scan, look over here, at the end of the burnout, my temp was already up to 115. So basically from the time I did the burnout, it was sitting around this 118. So here's basically sitting ready to go. And then when I started, so from the time I started to the end, only went up uh, 20 degrees. So now let's look at a different pass. And this will be the most recent scan. So it's from the other day. It was a little bit cooler outside. But if I look at the end of the pass right here, 108 degrees. So here's the beginning. After the burnout, 72 degrees. It was a little cooler outside this day also. But... Beginning of the pass, we're at 79, and end of the pass, 108. So essentially, this kit took me down from like took me from 195 ish to 108 on a cooler day, and 138 or whatever on a a pretty hot day, I believe that was. So. I'd say it works pretty good. 60 to 90 degree reduction. So that's it for this one, guys. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I realized I totally stopped talking about it because it was kind of a popular topic on this channel. 
when I was having issues with it and it kind of just died off. And there was a lot of you guys asking like, well, what the hell happened? And I guess I just stopped talking about it because I stopped focusing on it because it wasn't a problem anymore. So that's essentially what happened. So now you guys know.